Today is D-Day. Alluvium's overworld is dropping in just a few hours. You don't know where you should start or what you should do on day one? Well, you've come to the right place. I'm going to give you my some tips and tricks to get you optimized and get you not wasting any time on your first day in Alluvium's overworld. So let's not waste any time and let's get into it. If you've been living under a rock and this is the first video of you've seen on Alluvium or you haven't been receiving any emails and you haven't been registered or anything, hit the link in the description. Go and get registered because there's heaps more spots opening up and you will get a chance to come and play this a magnificent game. If you do already have access and you have the arena, make sure you go and delete that whole file. Get rid of all of your Alluvium uh, files for the gameplay at the moment. Get rid of them all because tomorrow morning when this or tomorrow afternoon, whenever you, it is for you guys, whenever that download button comes alive up on the Illuvium.io site, you do not want to have your other files there and then you get mixed up with what it is. You want to have a full clean slate. Delete the old download, get ready for the new one, unzip it, extract it all, delete the zip file, and then put that new launcher in an easy and accessible place for you to get to so every time you turn your computer on you can go and click that and get into the game as quick as possible you don't want to waste any time no wasting time that's not what we're here for so that is my tip number one so tip number two is settings everyone has different computers everyone's going to be running them at different settings no one no two computers are going to be the same really and it's all personal preference as well so the way that i'm going to do it because my pc is okay it's not amazing but it's not shit so it's it's kind of in the middle plus i'll probably be streaming and doing other things as well so i'll probably be looking at dropping my settings a little bit but for you guys that are just going to be playing the game i'd recommend start everything as high as possible run around if it's not working or it's a bit laggy or a bit jumping or whatever just start tuning some things down i'm not sure of what exact specs they're going to be i'll bring up the arena right now and we'll go through those ones as we can see here these are the settings that are in the arena right now i'm just on the graphics part because that's the part that's really going to stress out your computer a lot as you can see i've got it on ultra quality and it does run fine on my computer obviously i'm, I'm running a few other things it does start to lag a little bit but as I said, put it up to as high as possible and then start bringing it down. The easiest way is to go down like this. If you just want to do it by yourself, then you can probably just get rid of some textures or VFX, whichever one you want to get rid of first. They may be a little bit different as we go into Overworld because there might be a few different things that they want to adjust as we're going through. But I would just stay up the top here. Start on Ultra Quality. If, you don't, if it's not running very well, just go down to Quality and then Balanced and then... I think at balanced you should be fine but anyway that is tip number two go and fiddle with your settings to make sure it is fine you don't want to be halfway through a run and an instance comes up or something is happening and then you just start to lag out and you miss out on something you miss your shot or you land in an acidic pool and it's gone you don't want that happening once you're in crimson waste you want to run around sanctum Mesa for a little bit and get those settings correct because you do not want to miss out once you're in game. So the next thing is to really nut out your controls. Whilst you're fiddling with your settings, jumping up and down, making sure everything is running very smoothly, have these to your left hand side or wherever so you can read them and then go and test them out. Make sure you know how to walk around, how to engage, how to jump, how to charge jump, how to jump and aim at the same time. It seems like this is the best way to shoot an instance. You need to jump, aim at the same time and you go into a slow motion everything slows down so you're able to aim and really get that shot off and hit the middle of the instance making sure you do not hit the sides because if you hit the sides it disappears and it is gone forever so get out there once you're in sanctum mesa and really really test out your commands and hotkeys i'm not unsure if we are going to be able to change these in the beta i really hope we do because some of them they all seem really good but sometimes it's always good to put some maybe some numbers for a few of these because it's right above your WASD. But anyway, that is the next tip for you. So let's move away from all these boring settings and controls and stuff like that and let's get into the game. So I know everyone is going to want to go and just go straight into the tier, tier 3 or stage 3 game. Do not do this. It is a waste of time. When you first start, you are going to lose everything. There is no reason for you to go out and go straight into a stage 3 Crimson Waste run. You are going to use 3,000 of your 5,000 energy you have a day. And literally, if you come into an encounter with anything, you have no shards to catch it at first. And you have no alluvials to battle with, so there's no way that you even get a chance to catch it. So what I would suggest is to straight up go into Tier 0. Go to Tier 0, run around, do some exploring, get used to the controls again have a look at the map and just take in the beauty 
there's no race here. There is zero race. There is no NFTs up for capture. It is literally you just going out and getting alluvials. This is straight from Aaron. He's like, there is no race. There's nowhere to get to. It is literally just you against yourself having a fun time running around. So I would suggest first time, go into tier zero, run around, enjoy yourself. You you don't have any shards to catch anything. So there's no use. Well, it's, it's, it's I'm still going to be going in, into an instance, but like you can't catch anything. So I would just go and enjoy it. Go mine a few things. That is the next tip actually. When you're in your tier zero at first, go mine things. Doesn't matter if you're in tier zero, tier one, tier two, or tier three, you get the same mineables. You may get a higher chance at rarer ones in the higher stages, but in tier zero, you have the same mineables throughout. So tier zero, this go and good. use that as your mining facility. Go away out on runs, it's free to run. All you have is your energy in game to use. So go out there, mine heaps, get some shards. Make sure you get shards. If you have no shards, you cannot capture. So yeah, the next tip that really flows on from just going from tier zeros is whilst you're in that tier zero, go out and mine as much as possible. Don't even use the scan, there's no use because everything is gonna be useful to you at first. Go out, mine every rock you see. For instance, go and check it out, like why not? You're not gonna be able to capture anything though. Really stick that in your brain. You need shards to capture. So don't go into it thinking, oh, gonna get my first alluvial here, because you don't have shards. Mine, 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 mine. Like the little birds from Finding Nemo. Mine. Once you've gathered all those materials that you've been harvesting in the tier zero, now it's time to back out of there, go up to the mainframe and go into the forge. Go and use all those materials, upgrade your gear, upgrade your boots, upgrade your armor, upgrade your helmet, and whatever else there is to upgrade. Go and upgrade those at least one tier as if you can or have a look at what you need to go and get and then go back out into your tier zero and go mine a little bit more. Create some shards, go and create those shards because that's when we go back into that tier zero and that's when the fun starts. That's when we can go out and we can actually capture the alluvial. As I said, you need to mine first before you can do anything because there's gonna be spots you can't get to because you haven't got your gear updated. You don't have shards, so you can't capture anything. So it all, it all comes back to mining. Mining seems to be more important than anything else at first. In the beginning of the game, you need to mine to get all of the materials. So that is why mining comes before anything else. It is the first thing that I'm going to be going and doing, and I really, really recommend that you go and do this as well. So once we've got our shards, uh, maybe even got an upgrade or whatever, we go back into our tier zero, and then we start looking for wakes and in instances where we can go and battle the other alluvials and try and capture some. This is where the fun starts. I'm going to be streaming as much as possible as soon as this drops, so be sure to check that out. It'll be on YouTube and Twitch. Links are all in the descriptions and stuff below. But anyway, hopefully I capture Alluvial as soon as possible. But this is the structure that I'm going to be going down throughout the whole thing. Mining, then going and capturing. And I'm going to go into Tier 0 and find myself as much as I can there first before going into the Stage 1 and working my way up. I highly doubt that anyone will even get to a Stage 3 run and capture anything on the first day. This is how much harder, supposedly, the Stage 3 runs are compared to Stage 1 and Tier 0. So, if anyone does do that and they've been streaming, I'm pretty sure you'd be on your 23rd hour before you get to that point. Good luck to anyone that really wants to aspire to that Stage 3 in one day. That will take a lot of grinding. So, that's pretty much my overview for the first day. This is exactly how I'm going to be playing out my first day. And I really hope that you guys do the same because this will really optimize yourself as you go into the future. You don't, you do not want to get caught out without having any gear or shards for when you run into an amazing alluvial. And this is, this is literally just practice for when the full game comes out. Use this time, prepare yourself and get used to everything within the game. Make sure you learn everything. What do you need to craft this? Where can I find this? Where is this? Learn the map. And then after a few days when you've, you kind of get an over capturing, which you're not going to do, but once you've kind of had a go and you've looked around everywhere, I would just, just go sit back and go and enjoy the game again. Go and go out and just explore places you haven't been because I'm sure there's going to be places you haven't been to. It's not all about getting the best alluvial right now. Right now is testing the game. If you find any bugs, tell them. This will help them immensely. The more that you tell them, the more feedback you give them, good or bad, it helps everything. So make sure you're giving feedback, make sure you're having fun, and make sure you're being safe out there, guys. But anyway, hope, hopefully I catch you in my stream soon, and let's go, baby. It's alluvium time.